Have you ever wondered why some connections are more captivating and passionate than others? Well, welcome to the art of seductive intimacy, a tantalizing dance that transcends the realm of physical attraction. It's an enthralling exploration into the depths of human connection, a journey that takes us beyond the surface into a world riddled with emotion and desire. Seductive intimacy isn't solely about the allure of physical attraction. It's the emotional connection that truly transforms an ordinary interaction into a dance of passion and desire. It's about allowing ourselves to be vulnerable, to share our deepest selves with another. Yet, it's also about maintaining an air of mystery, an allure that keeps the dance intriguing. In the grand scheme of seductive intimacy, it's the balance of emotion, vulnerability, and allure that crafts a connection brimming with passion and captivation. A connection that's not just simply seen but profoundly felt. Seductive intimacy is a dance between two souls, rich in emotion, vulnerability, and allure. Now, how do we infuse this seductive element into our intimate connections? Well, it begins with the essence of communication. Imagine communication as a dance, a tango of words, expressions, and emotions. It's not merely about talking but also about listening, understanding, and responding. So, lay the foundation of your seductive intimacy with open, honest dialogue. Discuss your needs, desires, and boundaries. Remember the most seductive conversations are those where both partners feel heard and respected. Next, cultivate understanding. This isn't a one-time process but an ongoing journey of discovery. Try to understand not just your partner's words but their feelings, their behavior, their reactions. This understanding will allow you to respond to your partner in ways that are seductive to them, to speak their unique language of love and desire. And then, there's patience. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is seductive intimacy. It takes time to learn each other's rhythms, to explore each other's desires, to build a connection that is both passionate and profound. So, take your time, savor each moment. Let the connection grow naturally, fueled by mutual respect and shared experiences, of course, these are not the only techniques. You might find that a soft touch, a lingering glance, or a shared secret can also infuse your connection with seductive intimacy. These moments, these gestures become the threads that weave your unique tapestry of passion and connection. Finally, remember that seductive intimacy isn't about perfection. It's about exploration, about the joy of discovering new facets of your partner, about the thrill of experiencing new heights of passion and connection. So don't be afraid to experiment, to try new things, to push your boundaries. In the end, it's about creating a connection that is not just physically intimate, but emotionally profound. A connection that is fueled by mutual respect, understanding, and love. A connection that is, in every sense of the word, seductive. Remember, seductive intimacy is about open communication, understanding, and patience. How do we navigate the delicate balance between vulnerability and allure in passionate connections? This question, my friends, is a dance. A dance of seductive intimacy that thrives on the rhythm of vulnerability and allure. Vulnerability, it's like opening the door to your soul, allowing someone to step inside and explore the labyrinth of your deepest feelings, thoughts, and emotions. It's the courage to stand naked, not physically, but emotionally, allowing your partner to see the real you, the unmasked you. This raw authenticity is what deepens your connection, creating an intimate bond that's as strong as it's tender. But then, vulnerability alone could turn your relationship into an open book, and let's face it, a book where you already know the end might lose its appeal over time. That's where allure comes into play. Allure is the mystery, the intrigue, the spice that keeps the relationship exciting. It's the unread chapters of your book, the unexplored corners of your soul, the unexpected surprises that keep your partner intrigued and wanting more. Imagine vulnerability and allure as two dancers. Vulnerability is the one who leads, setting the pace and direction, while allure is the one who adds the twirls, the leaps, the exciting moves that make the dance captivating. Both are essential for the dance to be harmonious and enchanting. Striking the right balance between these two, now that's the real art of seductive intimacy. It's like walking on a tightrope where leaning too much on either side might make you lose your balance. Show too much vulnerability, and you risk losing the mystery. Too much allure, and your relationship might lack depth. But when done right, this delicate balance can turn your relationship into a thrilling dance, a dance that keeps both partners on their toes, captivated by each other, and yearning for more. It's a dance that's as beautiful as it's exciting, as profound as it's passionate. In the dance of seductive intimacy, vulnerability and allure go hand in hand. 
They are the two sides of the same coin, the yin and yang of passionate connections, and when they dance together, they create a symphony of seductive intimacy that's both enchanting and irresistibly captivating. How do we create an atmosphere charged with sensual desire and connection? Well, let's dive right into it. First and foremost, setting is key. Choose a place where both parties feel safe, comfortable, and free from distractions. This might be a dimly lit room, a cozy nook, or even a secluded outdoor spot. Next, consider the mood. This could be shaped by subtle elements like a soft playlist, a scented candle, or even just the right temperature. It's these small details that combine to create a powerful ambiance. Then there's forethought. Plan ahead to ensure everything flows smoothly. This could mean having a bottle of wine ready to uncork, or a favorite dessert waiting in the fridge. Remember seductive intimacy isn't just about the physical, it's about creating an environment that fosters emotional closeness too. A sensual atmosphere is the canvas upon which the art of seductive intimacy is painted. So let's get those brushes ready, shall we? So, how do we build this intense and captivating connection through seductive intimacy? Well, it's akin to crafting a masterpiece requiring patience, dedication, and a dash of creativity. Firstly, prioritize spending quality time together. It's not about the quantity, but the depth of these shared moments. These are the times when you really get to know and understand each other, fostering a connection that goes beyond the superficial. Next, dare to explore each other's interests, even if they're out of your comfort zone. This not only shows a willingness to engage with your partner on a deeper level, but also opens up new avenues of connection, sparking curiosity and intrigue. Finally, never underestimate the power of surprise. Keep the flame alive by infusing unexpected elements into your relationship. It could be as simple as a spontaneous compliment or as elaborate as a surprise date. An intense connection is the culmination of time, exploration, and surprise, all woven together by the threads of seductive intimacy.